we're going to start out the buttermilk pie by adding one cup of sugar to the bowl. And then uh, we're going to add two tablespoons Okay, we're gonna start out our buttermilk pie by adding a cup of sugar. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of flour to that. And then half a stick of butter that you've left out at room temperature. I hope this is gonna be soft enough because I'm going to mix that up a little bit before I add the butter to it. Just kind of combine that. So we're combining our sugar, which is um, one cup and then a tablespoon of flour. The flours are thickener for our pie. So I'm gonna just drop in half a stick of butter. I'm just kind of cutting it up into little pieces here. And then I'm gonna get my electric mixer out and we're going to cream this together. Usually when I make this pie around holidays, I make two pies. So I'm having to divide my recipe up. <laughs> So that's why I'm going a little slow. Let me get my beaters. Until it's creamed. Okay. My butter could have been a little softer. You don't want it to be liquid, you know, like you don't want to melt it in the microwave or on the stove or anything, but just um, have it pretty soft. Mine could have been a little softer, but the pie will be okay. Okay, now I want to add two eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, so the the recipe I have for this buttermilk pie is if you're making two pies, it's two thirds cup of buttermilk. So I'm gonna add a third and then a half of a third. My mind's not working enough to figure out what that exact measurement is. I'm 
Okay. Then we mix this up. into an unbaked pie shell and we bake it for about 45 minutes. Okay, so I am going to separate three eggs from their whites. I like to take that little thing out sometimes. I don't know why it just bothers me. Okay, and I'm gonna add the yolk to a saucepan that I have over here. hard being your own camera person doing this stuff. So we've separated our egg whites and now we have our yolks in the pan and we're going to add a cup of sugar to that and then we're going to add three tablespoons of flour as well. So there's one two, and three. And your flour is what's gonna thicken your pie. Fourth a teaspoon of salt. stop me and say, hey, but Teresa, <laughs> you don't add milk to a lemon pie. Well, a lot of the recipes call for water instead, but I like milk in my lemon pie. It makes it creamier. Now, I had always heard that milk will, will cause your uh, lemon to 
to clabber, but it doesn't. It just makes the pie more creamy. Okay. Let's see, so we have our salt, three tablespoons of flour, a cup of sugar, and a cup of milk, three egg yolks, and the, then we grated um, one lemon. And I'm gonna add that in there, the lemon grate. And then we're gonna need a tablespoon of butter in here. I've already got this measured here. I'm gonna put that in there. That butter will start to melt as soon as we get it on the stove. and the juice of two lemons. We'll just go ahead and pour that in there. Now we're gonna take it to the stove and we're gonna cook it. Okay, so this is my pie crust I've made. Um, I'm just gonna set it aside right there. And I'm gonna turn my fire on. And I'm gonna bring it down to about a probably a medium heat. And then we're just gonna start cooking this and you can't leave, when you put this on the stove, you stir it constantly and you can't leave it until it's ready, thickened and ready to go in your pie shell. This is the, hot, the worst part to me of making a pie filling. <laughs> making a pie is making the filling and having to wait, you know, until it thickens. It, it really doesn't take that long. Um, I like to do it on a medium heat. I mean, I could turn the heat up and probably get it happening pretty quick, but I like to take my time that way. You don't waste a lot of ingredients if you accidentally let it stick and burn or, you know. So just, just be patient. It'll be worth the wait. Now, the difference in this pie, if you can tell, see it has more of a creamy looking texture. You, you've seen lemon pies that have more of a translucent texture. This one is not that pie. Um, that's the pie that's made with water, um, and probably thickened with cornstarch. I'm thickening with flour here. So that that taste of the flour is cooking out right now. I also use flour in my chocolate pies too, and not cornstarch. I just like the taste better. It's getting pretty close to being ready. And as it cools, it's gonna get thicker as well. My, my whisk is about to fall apart. It's like that keeps wanting to separate. Okay. Now, see it's starting to bubble up? That's, that's where we're done. Okay, now, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna transfer it into this pie crust. And I have the lemon, I have enough lemon pie for this. I don't think I've made it in this big dish before. Um, Fine. I think this is a this is a nine inch. Now the buttermilk that I made is an eight inch. Um, it could have used it. It could have used more. Maybe you could have increased this recipe some. 
for this big a pie. This pie plate might even be bigger than a nine inch. I don't know. But it comes out pretty perfect in those little nine inch pie pans, pie pans that you can buy. Like I've, I've got in the oven right now with the buttermilk pie. I think that's an eight inch, but this is, uh, this is a nine inch pie. So I'm going to make the meringue and put on it and then it'll be ready. So now I have added uh, my egg whites and plus a couple of extra egg whites because I want it to be full and I put my cream of tartar in here. About a, I think about a fourth of a teaspoon is what I put. I'm gonna beat this up. Beat. I'm going to mix in a half a cup of sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle it in as we go, but I'm not going to start just yet. Okay, now you see it's starting to make a thicker foam. Now I'm going to start adding my sugar, just a little at a time. recipes tell you to add about a tablespoon at a time. You can see it's really starting to thicken up. I'm gonna stop it and try to brush the foam from the sides a little bit, get it more incorporated like that. Okay, now. Okay, I forgot to add a dash of salt. I'm just adding like a dash of salt in there. Did what I did with the two egg yolks that I didn't use in the pie. Well, they're down the drain. You can put them in the refrigerator if you have plans to make something else that you might use it for. Um, but I didn't. So anyway, I was wasteful. Sorry. See how it's getting really glossy and it's standing up. I think it's just about ready. Now we're gonna put this on our pie. Okay, so now we're adding our meringue to our lemon pie. And I bake my meringue after it's on the pie in the oven really at a maybe about 300 degrees because I like for the meringue to cook through and not just brown on top. I want to make sure that these egg whites are safe to feed my family. So I also want to try making, mixing egg whites with meringue powder sometime and see how that turns out. I've always wondered about that. See if it, you know, and meringue powder is kind of, a, it's a stabilizer. So I don't know why it wouldn't work. And like I said, usually I make this pie in um, 
probably an 80 inch foil pan or something. So I didn't have enough foil pans. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> I got my buttermilk pie on one of them. So um, when I was making my pie crust last night, I thought, oh, I don't want to go to the store. So I didn't. So this is what we have. So I think it'll be okay, don't y'all? You just kind of, you know, make it pretty. And this is not for anyone but us, so I'm gonna stick my finger in there. Okay, there we go. All right. Now I'm gonna stick this in the oven and I'll show you the pies when they come out. So the pie on the left, that is the buttermilk pie. And you notice I put foil around the crust because I didn't want the crust to burn. It will tend to burn because it has to be in the oven for 40 minutes. And I had already baked this pie crust, but it won't have to be in here very long for uh, the lemon pie. So I didn't do it for you. Okay, here's the buttermilk pie, fresh out of the oven. Still needs to cool and here is the lemon pie, also fresh out of the oven. And when they're cool enough to cut into, I'll show you what they look like. Keep your fingers crossed. Cut into the lemon pie. And here's the piece of lemon. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Sam, you're not getting it, buddy. <laughs> ah, ah. I'm gonna cut into the ah, uh, butter. And ah, now I've cut into the ah, buttermilk pie. So, Sam thinks he's going to get a piece. No, no, you're not. 